Okay, example 2, a continuous random variable x has the property density function fx is equals to k times x plus 1 for x is in between 0 and 2, 2k, this is for x between 2 and 3 and 0 for otherwise. Alright, so the question is, the first one, we need to find the value of k, the constant k, b, sketch the property density function, c, find the property of x uh, between 1.5 and 2.5. And we want to find the probability of x greater than 1.8 and d we want to find the median okay to find the value of k to how to find the constant k we can use the information that we know for the probability density function pdf we know if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity okay if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity the function f we should get the answer equals to 1 okay because this is a PDF. So we can use this information to find the value of k. So that's mean we need to integrate from negative infinity to infinity. Alright, so first we can draw a number line. So we know that the interval that involved in this function is between 0 and 2. And then between 2 and 3. Okay, to make things easy to see. Alright, so uh, between 0 and 2, the function is kx plus 1. And between uh, 2 and 3, the function is 2k and otherwise is 0. And we want to integrate from a negative infinity to infinity. If we see from the number line, we know that between negative infinity to 0, the function is 0. And also between 3 to infinity, the function is also 0. So if we integrate these two part here, the answer is 0. So we can omit or we can neglect this, this part. So we just integrate from 0 to 2. And the function is kx plus 1. And then we integrate from 2 to 3 and the function is 2k. And remember k is a constant and the answer must equals to 1. Alright, so we can integrate. So k is just a constant so we can um, bring outside and then we integrate x. It become x square over 2 and integrate 1 it become x. And the limit is 0. And integrate 2k, so 2k is just a constant, so we can bring out the constant 2k, and then integrate 1, 1 is, when integrate 1, it become x, and the limit is between 2 and 3, and we know the answer must equals to 1. Alright, so now we can substitute the limit, which is 0, 2, and 3, 2. So the first part is, we need to substitute x equals to 2. So, k, k2 squared over 2 plus 2, k minus, and then substitute 0. So, 0 squared over 2 plus 0, or this is just 0. Right, and the second part is 2k, and then substitute 3 minus 2, which is 1, equals to 1. Alright, so this part, uh, 2 squared is 4, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so this is 4, and this is 0, so it's become 4k, and this part, uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, so this is plus 2k and equals to 1, so this is equals to 6k equals to 1, so that's mean k is equals to 1 over 6. So we get the answer, which is 1 over 6. So we know the constant is 1 over 6, alright? So that is for part A. And part B, we want to sketch the probability density function. Alright, so for part B, we want to sketch. Sketch me, we need to sketch the graph. So if we put back the value k, which is 1 over 6, into the function, so the function will become like this, which is 1 over 6, x plus 1. This is for x between 0 and 2. And then uh, 2k, so 2k, which is 2 times 1 over 6, this is 1 over 3, so this is 1 over 3 between 2 and 3, and then 0 otherwise. Alright, so what we want to do in this part is we need to sketch this function. Alright, so this is a, a piecewise function. Alright, so we already know how to sketch a piecewise function, we already learned, okay, last semester in chapter 5 to draw or to sketch a a graph for a piecewise function. Alright, so the graph must be divided into the two interval here, which is the first one between 0 and 2, and then another one is between 
2 and 3. Alright, so between 1 and 2, okay, uh, between 0 and 0 and 2, uh, this is a linear function. So to sketch a linear function, we need to know at least two points, okay, because we want to connect those two points with a straight line. Alright, so what we can do, we can find two points. Two points. The first one when x equals to zero. When x equals to zero, you can find y. Y is one over six. Zero plus one. This is one over six. So the first point we have is zero. One over six. Okay, maybe right here. One over six. And at second point we can choose x equals to two. So y is equals to one over six. Two plus one. So three over six, which is one over two. Okay, so 1 over 2 may be up here. 1 over 2. So 2, 1 over 2 here. Alright, so we connect these two points with a straight line. Okay, so we finish with the first interval which is between 1, between 0 and 2. Okay, and this is the function. And between 2 and 3, this is a constant. Okay, 1 over 3. So the constant is just a horizontal line that at, the, at y equals to 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 here. So the graph is like this, alright, and otherwise is zero. So otherwise is zero. This is the function for the for this PDF. Alright, so that is part B, which is cash graph. Alright, so we need to label this is x and this is f x. Alright, so that is second part. Okay, part C. We want to find the probability of x, and that is in between one point five and two point five, and probability of x greater than 1.8 all right so that is for part c okay so the first part we want to find the probability of x which is in between uh, 1.5 and 2.5 right so for pdf when we want to find the probability that's mean we need to integrate so to make things easy we can draw a number line okay to determine uh, the limits so since we want to find the probability between 1.5, 1.5 is here, okay, between 0 and 2, this is 1.5, and 2.5 is in between 2 and 3, so this is 2.5, so we want to find this area between these two interval, okay, alright, so that's mean between 1.5 to 2, we will use, okay, this is in the function uh, 1 over 6 x plus 1 and between 2 and 2.5 this is for 1 over 3 alright so that's mean to find this probability we need to integrate the first one we need to integrate from 1.5 to 2 and the function is 1 over 6 x plus 1 and then we need to integrate from 2 to 2.5 and the function is 1 over 3 Alright, so we can integrate. So the first one is 1 over 6. The integrate x become x squared over 2 plus x. Okay, 2. And the limit is between 1.5 to 2. And the second part is 1 over 3 integrate. It become 1 over 3x. So and the limit is 2 to 2.5. Alright, so we can substitute the limit. Okay, the first one, so it's become 2 squared over 2 plus 2, okay, minus, and then substitute the limit, 1.5, 1.5 squared over 2 plus 1.5 plus 1 over 3, so the limit is 2.5 minus 2. Alright, so uh, this part, it will become uh, 1 over 6, alright, so this will become 11 over 8. And here is 1 over 3 times 1 over 2. So the answer is 19 over 48. So the probability of x between 1.5 to 2.5 is 19 over 48. Alright, so that's how we find the probability. And the second one, we need to find the probability of x greater than 1.8. Alright, so if we draw a number line between 0, 2 and 2 to 3, Okay, 1.8 is here. So this is 1.8 and we want to be greater than. So we want to find x greater than 1.8. Alright, so we have two options here whether we can integrate. Okay, to find the probability, we can integrate from 1.8 to 2. The function is 1 over 6 x plus 1 dx and then from 2 to 3 which is 1 over 3 dx. Okay, this is one way to do it or the easiest way is to 
do the other way around because we know the total area is 1. So the total is 1. So it's much easier. We find this interval here. Find the area between 0 and 1 over 8 and minus 1. Or we can use 1. We can use 1 minus the area between 0 and 1.8. And the function is 1 over 6 x plus 1 dx so i will use the second one okay here so one is just one okay and then integrate this is one over six x square over two plus x and the limit is zero and one point eight so this is one minus one over six okay one point eight squared over two plus one point eight minus zero okay because the limit is zero okay so and this is equals to okay one minus so if you use calculator you will get this is 0 0.57 okay so we just take one minus this value we get 0 0.43 all right so that is for part c okay part d we want to find the median okay and the median is m so the formula to find median is we need to integrate from negative infinity to m okay the function fx respect to x and the answer must equals to 0 0.5 all right so for this question we have some problem we need to think about all right so since the interval is between 2 0 and 2 and 2 between 2 and 3 we have two interval so m can be either in between 0 and 2 m can be here or m can be between 2 and 3 so we have two possibilities which is m can be in between 0 and 2 and m might also be in between 2 and 3 all right so how do we know whether m is between 0 or 0 to 2 or between 2 and 3 so first let's say uh, we assume that m is in between 0 and 2 first okay say m is in between 0 and 2 that's mean we need to integrate from negative infinity okay negative infinity to 0 and then from 0 to m and the function here is 1 over 6 x plus 1 okay so we assume okay m is in between 0 and 2 right so that's mean uh, we can use this formula so we integrate from negative infinity to 0 and the function is 0 so from negative infinity to 0 the function here is just 0 and then integrate from 0 to m and the function is 1 over 6 x plus 1 okay, with respect to x and the answer must equals to 0 0.5 Alright, so uh, so the first part here is 0. So this is just 0. So we integrate here, we get 1 over 6 x square over 2 plus x and the limit is 0 to m is equals to 0 0.5. Or, okay, and then we can substitute limit which is m and 0. So we have 1 over 6 and we have m squared over 2 plus m minus, okay, and then substitute 0. This is 0. Is equals to 0 0.5. Alright, so we can multiply both sides by 6. So we multiply both sides by 6 to eliminate 1 over 6 at the at the front here. So we multiply by 6. It's become m squared over 2 plus m equals to uh, 3. Also, we can multiply by 2. So it become m squared plus 2m equals to 6. Or this is m squared plus 2m minus 6 equals to 0. And then this is a quadratic equation so we can solve them you can use calculator to solve it so we can get the answer the solution is m is equals to 1.646 or m is equals to negative 3.646 right so we have to answer here so how do we know whether we get the median or not so we need to refer back what we assumed earlier so we assume that m is in between 0 and Two. So since m is in between 0 and 2, so the answer should be 1.646. Okay, m cannot be in negative because this is out of the range. So that's mean the median that we want to find. Okay, the median. So the median is 1.646 is the answer.